I do like Taylor Swift. It's okay. hard not to. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just, she's just so lovely, folks. She really is. Live view from Monument Valley. You can see that car driving through the Four Corners area. This is one of the spots under a red flag warning for the next several hours. Fire danger has been elevated in this part of the state for the entire week, and it holds on today. Even into tomorrow, we may lose that red flag warning, but that elevated fire risk from Grand County to the Four Corners and extends over towards Lake Powell, even to Washington County. Canab's part of that, too. So any fire start in this area, could spread quickly. We just want to keep that in mind. Okay. Oh, hi, Kelly. This is great because this is Bear Lake, and we talked about those isolated storms dropping a lot of rain. Boats were scurrying to get off of the Caribbean of the Rockies as that rain came down. Got a little chilly. Lisa shows us. Oh, temperatures dropped as a result. Those storms tracking east, and we know that they're because of that stalled front. We're seeing the storm development. Storm tracker radar zooms in on what we're seeing right now. Those storms that impacted Bear Lake have pushed into southwestern Wyoming. Evanston saw some rain. We've got some activity over the Uintas, Manila, and Flaming Gorge also saw some spotty activity. As we look at northwestern Utah, Park Valley has some echoes of moisture, lightning in southern Idaho. This is tracking east, so if it holds together, that means the impacts could be felt over I-84 near Snowville and even up in Cache Valley into tonight. A little further south for the Wasatch Front in Salt Lake County, pretty nice. 95 in Salt Lake, it's hot. This is the Colonial Flag Tower camera right here at our ABC4 studios. Temperatures are running just slightly above seasonal norms. Usually this time of year, 92 is the average high. We're three degrees above that. Makes a difference in the summer, doesn't it? General threat of a storm, that's exactly where we expected it because of the stalled front, and that will be the case into tomorrow. It changes just slightly. 80s out there right now in Cache Valley, 92 in Provo, triple digits in Green River, St. George in 90s along the I-15 corridor, Cedar City sitting at 88. That's the lucky number. It's Cedar, Cache Valley over in the Uinta Basin. 90s turn to 80s along the Wasatch Front by ABC4 News at 10. Mostly clear skies, temperatures hitting 80 degrees. Now a slight chance of an isolated storm is possible tonight along the Wasatch Front. You can't rule it out. Future cast shows you why. We're going to stay unsettled just for this top sliver of the Beehive State heading into our Saturday. Here we are by 8 p.m. Cache Valley could see some gusty winds, maybe some brief rain. Notice that development in the West Desert along that front tracks east. So backside of the Wasatch, southwestern Wyoming, those areas, just know there's the chance of seeing a quick storm moving through. The rest of the state, central, eastern, and southern Utah, clear skies into tonight and for tomorrow. We get a pretty quiet weekend, and we're setting up for a dry stretch. Here we are with clouds by Sunday at midnight, so Saturday cloud cover holds on in the north. We also see that thunderstorm threat step back just a little bit. The Uinta Basin and Cache Valley have the slightest chance, but we're going to weaken that stalled front, which means dry conditions and lots of sunshine on deck. Why are we going to see the temperatures climbing? Well, it's an area of high pressure. That energy coming from low pressure, you know that's going to fall apart. And this dome of high pressure takes control of the Utah weather story for the weekend and into next week. High pressure brings sinking air, lots of sunshine, and temperatures on the up and up. Latest model runs actually back off just a little bit for the triple digits in the north, but not down south. 50s and 60s for those overnight lows, upper 60s in St. George. Temperatures will be similar tomorrow to where they were today, mid-90s expected in Salt Lake. We'll see triple digits in Moab, Hanksville, and in southern Utah. 70s, 80s, and 90s all expected for the Wasatch Front and Wasatch Back. Here's a look at the next seven in St. George, where that triple digit heat and breezy conditions hold steady. Now, as we get to the middle of next week, the winds pick up, but we're going to forewarn you and let you know that the hottest temperature looks to be Wednesday there as we go 108. Here's the Wasatch Front. It's going to be warm. But you know what? I feel like it's 90s. You can say hot. It's going to be hot. I'm hot when I step out there. Upper 90s. I went 99. And it's because the latest model runs back off from triple mm. digits ever so slightly. So I always want to give you the most updated information, uh -huh. even though I hate a 99. I so know. I think we're going to be close yeah. Sunday, Monday. Pull the trigger. To it's hot. It's, it's hot. I always Either pull way. the trigger. I'm a pew, she, pew, yeah. pew, pew, she always airs on 100. So I'm yeah. thinking maybe it won't be. Well, okay. La I, I usually air on 100 when I think it's going to happen. So yeah. now yeah. we're kind That's of like, mm, okay, mm. I don't, I'm not sold that it's going to happen. Yeah. Okay, we'll watch for 99. it. 99. Thanks, Alana. <laughs> All right. Time now for